yeah, bro. I made the right. I parked. And now I'm out here. I thought you said Palm Bay Police Department. This is like Jurassic Park Police Department. It's incredible out here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know that part in Jurassic Park? Yeah, when the T-Rex comes, I just felt something like that. I felt it. I felt it again. It was like the movies. No, I swear. This episode of Police Cars is over. I don't feel it anymore. back to another episode of police cars if you guys don't know we do a series here on this YouTube channel called police cars I want to put all the links down below to the police car series so you guys can go check them out so today it took me two hours to get to where I'm standing looks like we made it all the way up from Miami to Palm Bay Police Department and we're gonna be showcasing something pretty awesome but we got that out of the way uh, the officer's supposed to be meeting me here. He told me to wait outside the gate. There's no gate over there. No gate over there. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Give me a second, guys. He sent me an email. Apparently, there's some kind of password or something you gotta say out here. Let me see. Uh, Palm Bay PD Open Sesame. What is this, a genie in the lamp thing? Palm Bay PD Open Sesame. It's not working. Palm Bay PD. Hey man. What? We just changed it. What is it? It's Palm Bay PD wear number one. Palm Bay PD wear number one? Yeah man, I don't make up the passcodes. Sorry. Uh, all right. I'll say it. I feel like they're trolling me. Palm Bay PD wear number one. You're kidding me. What is going on, my brother? Welcome, Nick. What's up, man? Palm Bay. Good to see you. You too. Nice passcode. Like I said, Nick, I don't make them up. <laughs> All right. So what's going on, man? Introduce yourself to the Knot Squad. Knot Squad represent. I'm Officer David Morales with the Palm Bay Police Department, currently in the training section of my glorious agency. And what agency may that be, sir? Palm Bay Police Department. We're number one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, now it's closing. It does work. It, it truly does. does it truly does. So, Officer Morales, can you tell me a little bit about your glorious agency? Well, Nick, my glorious agency is now at 166 officers. We have investigations, we have canine, and most important, we have SWAT. Ooh. As a former SWAT member that just retired in December of 2018 after serving 18 plus years, I felt I would reach out to you because I got something that I think the Knot Squad would like. Is it that right there? No, Nick, that ain't it. It's not that uh, mobile command center that you have right there? Where'd he go? What? No way! Come on and take a look. That thing is big, man. Listen, I don't have enough uh, film to do all the B-roll on that thing. I'm gonna run out of film. <laughs> I had to cut it short. So you wanna give us a rundown? Sure. What we have here is our MRAP, mine resistant ambush protective vehicle. The MRAP was developed to replace the Humvees because of all the IEDs that were penetrating the bottom of the Humvees. So if you come over here, Nick, you can see how this heavy duty V-shaped hull better protected the soldiers. 
Now we were able and lucky enough to acquire it and bring it back here to the Palm Bay Police Department. So how did you guys buy this? Did you go down to the MRAP dealership and be like, hey, uh, I want it in black? No? <laughs> no, Nick. We were lucky enough to become a part of the government surplus program. We got the MRAP for a fraction of the cost. It was saving lives overseas, now it's helping save lives here in Palm Bay. So what model MRAP is it? Because I know there's different models. Uh... Cayman from Bay Systems. And what, uh, what size rims are those, man? Those are like 45s? Rolling on 20s. 20s? Deuces? <laughs> yes, sir. You want to see how they spin? You mean we can go for a drive? We go for a ride. Yes! Right along! All right, I'm going to attempt to uh, get up there. The door's way up there. I'm going to put the camera down and see uh, if I can do it. Might catch a fall. Man, this is legit a cockpit, man. Let's go. Let's do this. Well, you know, Nick, safety first. Here we go. What's that little do, Hickey? That is our percent grade indicator. Let's us know how much the MRAP is tilting to the left or to the right. We want to stay in the black, never in the red. <laughs> we taking a traffic stop or are we going somewhere? I'm going to take you to a special place I hold near and dear to my heart. The Palm Bay Police Department Training Center. Training Center? Yes, sir. All right. How big is the range? The range is about 40 acres. 40 acres? That's like Disneyland. <laughs> Just about, Nick. We have tactical pits. We have an obstacle course. We have a dive pond. We have two moving target system ranges. We have a 200-yard range, a 450-yard range, and a tower that's on the 450-yard range. Woo! Quick release. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, to get out, it's no easy task. Handle here. Hey, how how much you think the door weighs? I'm gonna say at least over 200 pounds. Yeah, guys, these doors. I mean, there's no easy task to get out of here. You gotta pull this lever, unlock it, and then you push it out. Yeah. You guys are gonna be in the comments, D the myth, bro. But that's like a five foot drop down to the ground. It's all in the knees. All in the knees. You gotta absorb. You saw that? Awesome. Play that in slow mo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's all in the knees. You gotta. <laughs> and run down to the vehicle and go. All right, Nick. So a lot of the equipment that came on the vehicle was standard. We'll start here. Here is the wench that came with the MRAP. Here are the siren boxes that we had installed after. You can see here one of the light bars that was installed and a heavy, heavy floodlight on top over the two windows there. On the very, very top is our turret, which also has ballistic properties, as well as the windows, as well as the armor that surrounds and frames out the windows. All right, moving on to the side, we have some additional lights. And Nick, from my days of being in the United States Marine Corps, everything has to be labeled, as you can see here. Oh. The dipstick. Again, Nick, come check it out. This is where you have to put the washer fluid in. Ah. This is foolproof. Open the door ah. from. Guys, these are like sight words. And then, of course, your standard police logo mm -hmm. on the side of the vehicle. All right, Nick, when we got the AMRAP, uh, it wasn't this color. Oh, Desert tan, sir. Exposed. Desert tan. So you guys threw the, uh, is that midnight black? What is that? It's uh, a little combination. If I could get this closed there. So we essentially had the vehicle painted black. But as you can see, the Florida sun has its say. 
You got three windows up there. What are those for? The windows there serve as observation for the operators that are inside the vehicle, especially since the truck is so high. So if you look up there, we have a turret, which is a good observation point that is used by some of the operators during particular scenarios where we have to drive the truck up nice and close, get a good vantage point. The MRAP provides that for us. So I believe up in Sebring, um, there was an incident where a uh, suspect was there and started uh, shooting hostages and actually killing them. And they had to utilize the MRAP to ram the front of the bank in order to gain entry. Watch as a SWAT team in Central Florida ramps right into the SunTrust Bank, moving in on a gunman they say just shot and killed five people inside. So that's just another way that uh, the MRAPs can be used Absolutely. at a local law enforcement uh, level. Also, there were some other things you were talking about how you guys utilize this. You wanna let them know? Absolutely, Nick. Uh, during our last hurricane, uh, the police department utilized the MRAP along with a bunch of the SWAT members to provide any kind of assistance to folks that weren't able to leave. Uh, the MRAP was deployed that night and throughout the night to areas that were couldn't pass with a typical vehicle. So there's a lot of different ways you could use this uh, as a police department. Yes, absolutely. Right. Hey, Nick, oh, I got to mention what? something very important, the run flat system here. What do you mean run flat system? Basically, if for whatever reason, uh, something punctures this large tire, the run flat system engages and prevents the tire from completely going flat. What? So we're at the back of the MRAP here, as you can see, we have additional floodlights in the back, additional strobe lights back here, and your standard lights as the truck is driving down the roadway. You have your heavy doors here, a ladder here, so if an operator needs to get to the top of the truck, and at the top, very, very top, you can see we have additional lights there as well. Mm -hmm. And once again, the SWAT logo nicely displayed there. Nice. All right, Nick, welcome to the back of the truck. Ah. So, a couple of things that we uh, have displayed for you. My favorite, the Thor hammer. Thor hammer, what do you use that for? Breaking open doors. Okay. We have an entry tool kit here, a pair of uh, bolt cutters, halion tool, and a hatchet slash hammer. Those are our breaks. Nice. All right. Kind of like Thor's axe in Infinity War. Absolutely. All right. You going to go see uh, Endgame? Yes, I am. I already Excited. got tickets. I already got tickets. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. So, Nick, each operator sits on top of basically storage boxes. Okay. So, we can comfortably fit uh, two operators. So, two, four, six, eight in the back, and then your driver, and then your basically your co-pilot in the front. Okay. Now, here, Nick, we have our ballistic shields. All right. Two are present today. One of my favorite tools is the break and ray tool used for breaking open windows, porting them, clearing all the glass. The hook is designed to hook anything that needs to be removed, curtains, uh, blinds, and so forth. That was made in uh, forging fires? No, Nick. No, it wasn't. Ooh, got a little bit of weight to her. A little bit of weight to her. This is our breaching tool for doors. Ugh. I see you have a little flashlight on the front of the uh, the shield there. And a little window so you can look through, huh? Yes, sir. So the porthole and the light is used obviously to blind and to have the operator see what is in front of them. So then you have the uh, ballistic porthole here where the operator can see what's in front of them and then notify the rest of the cell team that's uh, covered behind the shield. So all you Blitz fans on Rainbow Six, there you go, live and in person. All right, Nick, so right next to our shield is our pole camera system. 
And then right next to that is our, what I like to refer to, the bouquet of flex cuffs. Flex cuffs. And then here you have what you saw earlier, our less lethal 40 millimeter launcher. There you have it. And these are the rounds, the exact impact. And that's for less lethal, you said? Less lethal, it is a sponge round. Okay. Nick, here we have lights for night operations. Uh, they are currently blue. And then in the front, there is a red light for the operator. All right. You want to check out that turret? Let's go. Follow me. This is how you get into the turret. So if you look around, the turret has gears, so the operator can move it left, right, right. and to the back. All right, and then uh, you just stand up. All right, that's it. Can I have a go? Absolutely. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's pretty thick glass up here. So all around me, I am protected. <laughs> all right, climb back down. So here is the cockpit. Over here you have the area that puts the vehicle in gear, neutral, and then drive. Here is where you start it. Parking brake, uh, additional lights. This one's to the uh, takedown light bar. These red ones here operate our strobe lights. This is our siren box here. Okay. And then the most important piece of equipment in this cockpit is the air conditioning unit. <laughs> here, and then this one works the rear. So do you have to get trained uh, specifically for this? Because there's a lot of switches and this is not like a, a jumping in a Camry and uh, turning the key. So I see a lot of buttons here. Is, is there like a special course or something you guys gotta go through? We run an in-house course. Uh, we do have former military personnel that have operated and were trained on the MRAP, and they turned around and trained us on it. And a lot of the switches, a couple of switches that I just showed you, they were add-ons for the police lighting. Speaking of lighting, is it the light show time? It is the light show time. Let's go. see we installed wig rag lights in the front see it beautiful beautiful bright bright takedown light bar up on top continuous light in the front here and come check out the sides we got two big light bars on the side for a big truck we have wig wags strategically placed on the corners of the vehicle and to end it up with another big light bar for a big truck. Uh -huh. I'll have to ask, because they're gonna ask in the comments. Mm -hmm. Do you take traffic stops in this thing? <laughs> no, Nick, we don't okay. do traffic stops with the MRAP. Uh, but you could technically if you want. Well, worst case scenario, if we had to, we could, but ultimately yeah. the emergency lights are for the, getting the truck from point A to point B and making sure traffic moves out of our way. Back at the station, Officer Morales. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you having me out here. Show me you. this monster of a truck there. Appreciate you coming out, making that trip. Did you bring the challenge coins? Absolutely. All right, guys, like the challenge coin giveaways before, you gotta follow a couple steps. I'm gonna put all those steps down in the description below. So if you get lost, just go down in the description. Step one, step two, step three, four. You're all there, okay? Simple, and I'm gonna put the links. So first things first, while you're here, just go click that subscribe button, that's step one. Step two, you're gonna have to go over to Instagram, click follow at Palm Bay Police Department. Uh, what's the handle? At Palm Bay PD. At Palm Bay PD, simple. And step three, at Nick off duty. 
And the final step, you're gonna have to go over to the trailer to this video. That's on Instagram, at Palm Bay PD. Again, on Instagram, at Palm Bay PD. Go in the comments section and click done to let us know that you completed all the steps of the giveaway. So, what are they gonna win? They're gonna win this. Our Palm Bay Police Department Challenge Coin. So, you have the badge in the front, and you flip it to the other side, you have our patch on the other side. Nice! But wait, Nick, there's more. No! What is that? This is the official Palm Bay SWAT challenge coin. Oh, that is prestige. Wow, guys, that right there is a beauty. That is the second coin that they can win by following those instructions? That is correct. All right, so there you go. That's how you're gonna win the challenge coins. Real quick, one thing. I didn't want to say anything, but your boss has been standing there the whole time monitoring us. He has. You want to bring him in for the sign -off? Absolutely. All right, let's bring him in. LT, hey. sir. How you doing? You've been there the whole time. Oh yeah. You want to introduce yourself, well, I guess at the end of the vlog? <laughs> lieutenant Steve Bland, Palm Bay Police Department, Special Operations Lieutenant, and Public Information Officer. And you kind of just been hanging out making sure that uh, we don't take this thing through a drive through that was my only uh, only concern. <laughs> so do you guys want to sign off? Let's do it. All Let's right. do it. See you when I see you. If I don't see you, then I'll see you.